Hey guys, I'm Nick from Micro Center. So you got a Windows 8 computer, and you and a few of the people in your house use the same computer. And you want to have your own personal account, and you want them to have their own accounts. What we're going to show you today is how to set up a new account in Windows 8 if you've already gone past the setup when you first got the computer and only made one account. We'll show you how to add a second, third, and so on and so forth account into your computer. So let's get started. Alright, so we're at our Windows 8 desktop. Let's go ahead and go into the user accounts area and we'll add the second account. So we'll hit the Windows key on our keyboard and tap the letter C and we'll click on settings in the bottom right hand side here and we'll click on change PC settings at the very bottom. This will bring us to the PC settings page. Click on users at the top right and scroll down to where you see add new user. It's going to ask you to type in an email address so that they can you know, back up your data and sync things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and type in an email address here and it's going to be blurred out just so I don't get you know hundreds of emails and it says please wait alright so it's added the account and it also has a nice option at the bottom here it says a child's account turn on family setting or family safety to get reports of their PC use if you have a small child or someone that you just you know don't have a whole lot of access to the computer you can check that box there and limit their access they still use the computer but they can't mess with your personal files and change a whole lot of things like that so I'm going to go ahead and check that for the time being and we'll click finish and you can see that the user has been added at the bottom here and if you wanted to sign into that user you'd hit the windows key on your keyboard to get back to the start menu click on your user at the top and you can click on that account to log into it and then from there they can adjust their settings the actual account name things like that and then continue to use their computer from there that's a basic overview of how to add an account in Windows 8 if you have any other questions feel free to contact us at microcentertech.com <laughs>